What's going on y'all? I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be a little bit of a different style because typically we play live games. I don't like to sit here and watch replays, but today's a little bit different because it was the last day of the season and I was absolutely locked in playing some uh, some top tier eagolem. <laughs> some very high skill deck, some high, high skill gameplay as some of you would like to say. So anyways, we're going to be watching these replays today and of course I'm going to be commentating on top of it so it's not too unbearably boring. But basically, these were my best games from the day today. Um, I will say all of them are wins. I wouldn't put any losses in and say it's my best gameplay. So this is just, you know, some toxic games or some games where I make a really big push or a cool outplay. So yeah, I thought these were, I put in four games. I thought these were the best four from the day. And I will say I play a lot today, probably more than I've ever played in a single day. I think I played for about five hours today, which is just ridiculous, but I really wanted to get that top 1k, so I'm not going to spoil what I got. I will reveal that at the end of the video, so if you guys want to figure out what I placed, stick around for that. But anyways, this is definitely an example of a toxic game. Um, <laughs> this guy just kept on spamming this emote the entire time, so I managed to take a tower very early on, and I knew he had bridge spam, so this is a great matchup for E-Golem, because if he goes in, I can just play defensive, and then throw an E-Golem in front of the counter push, and just take his other tower too, so all I had to do here is sit back and just kind of defend, so that's exactly what we're going to do here, and of course we're going to BM him, <laughs> going to BM him at the same time, because last day of the season, you know, there's a lot of people that are tilted right now. And surprisingly, I didn't really tilt today. Um, there was one time where I actually I played a 2v2 with a buddy. And actually, I lose my tower here. I'll let you guys watch that. I probably should have just sacked the damage here. Um, but I kind of over-defended, but it's fine. We recovered. But anyways, as I was saying, I accidentally went into a game using my 2v2 deck, which was crazy. I was using Magic Archer and Tornado and Poison. and It was all level 14 cards, basically. So, I, <laughs> of course, I lost that game. And that made me a little bit tilted, but... I hopped off for, I don't know, 30 minutes or something, hopped back on, and I was playing good again, so. Anyways, we have this tower down to about 1,200. Uh, definitely could have been a cleaner matchup. An ideal match, I don't lose either tower against bridge spam, but, you know, like I said, it's a pretty easy time defending, especially with Cannoneer. Does a great job against every card in this guy's deck, besides maybe bats, but... He's still trying to take my tower, so at the same time, I'm putting pressure on the three. Putting pressure on his king tower, that way he can't just completely spam. Spam the bridge, and I think I get the three crown here. Yeah. So, anyways, I'll see y'all in the next match. Jumping into the next game here against Home Homevico. Homevico, hope I'm saying that right. Looks like he's playing... I don't remember any of these games, to be honest with y'all. Like I said, I played a lot today, so this was a while ago. Looks like a bridge spam type of deck here. Maybe Royal Recruits. I definitely... I know I played against Royal Recruits at least once in one of these replays, so... We get a good pump down. It looks like he has no small or no big spell, so that is definitely good. If they have no big spell, you gotta just cycle pumps in the back. Just abuse the elixir pumps. Okay, yeah, so he does have Evo Recruits here. I do remember this game. Recruits is also a really good matchup for E-Golem. Uh, you just play defense. Once again, you know, you let them go in. And <laughs> look, I have two pumps down already. We're not even a minute into this game. So the idea is you let him go in, and then you just put an E-Golem in front of the counter push, and you win the game, basically. So here he goes in. And I mean, I don't know what else he's supposed to do. I want to say that's not a good play, but at the same time, he can't really do much. He has no small spell, so... Yeah, he goes in here, and I know he has no elixir, so I think... Do I go in? No, okay. I play it smart. You see, it's end of the season. I'm playing a little bit different. Typically, I would have just gone in there. But yeah, we pop ability here. Cycle Night Witch. That's right. I wanted to make sure I don't lose any elixir. And then I go for another pump here, because we're going to have a pump and a half. Very, very healthy pumps down here and there's nothing he can do so yeah I do go in here at this point I still didn't know for sure that he had no big spell so that's why I went in here just to ensure that he wasn't going to be able to poison or fireball on my pump but I think after this point I kind of realized okay all he has is arrows so next time he goes in I think I think it's just over um yeah let's see I split evo skellies here oh I'm going for it I'm just going in 
I didn't even give him a chance to go in with the Royal Recruits. Split Evo Baths. Yeah, I was predicting the Valk there. I remember that. Good prediction. And yeah, I just unloaded the bridge here. I know I'm way up on Elixir and there's no stopping this, so. I know some of you want to say that this is no skill, and to be fair, it is somewhat, I don't know, somewhat autopilot, but to be able to play any of these decks at this level, on the last day especially, it definitely takes some bit of skill, you know, there's no denying that it takes some little bit of skill to play any sort of deck at top ladder, so. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next game. Jumping into the next game here against Gen 3. And there was a lot of repeat games today. I don't say that because this guy was a repeat. I just, I don't know. Something made me think of it. I played against, there was some guy named Miner. I played against him three times. And there was another guy that played Giant Balloon the Bridge. I played against him three times. And he Giant Ballooned the Bridge the first two games. I beat him both times, 3-0. Um, when he Giant Ballooned the Bridge. But then in the last game, he ended up beating me. I think it was 3-2. It was definitely his matchup, but I don't know if he was tilted or what because he just kept on dropping giant balloon at the bridge first play, so. Anyways, looks like this is giant graveyard. Uh, this is a pretty good matchup for me, especially if they're running cannoneer. If they play perfectly, it can be difficult because they have the bowler, but also they have no big spell, so. This is one where you just want to abuse the elixir pumps. And of course that can be hard because... As soon as you pump up, they're typically going to just giant graveyard the bridge and take your tower. So you got to be very, very careful about when you do it. You want to be applying a little bit of pressure at the same time. So I think right here, I go for it. Um, I kind of just said, you know, I'm going to go for the pump. And if he goes in, I'll take the damage. If not, even better. But I actually get a really good timing here. I remember, yeah, he goes Night Witch in the back as I pump. So he can't go in. I mean, he could go in, you know right about now but I've already got the elixir back so that's exactly what he does and I'm in a good spot here I understand that I'm not going to be able to defend this so I'm just going to sack the entire tower and this is the perfect example of taking damage to get damage actually I sent this replay to the clan and that's exactly what I titled it is take damage to get damage because he just zapped too and I don't know why he zapped though there's absolutely no way he's stopping this so since he zapped I'm going to go for the evo bat or evo skellies on the left and he's going to be forced to arrows that but he goes for the little prince instead so evo skellies are going to chain and there's just no stopping this he can't arrow both sides since the evo skellies have split now and yeah that's good game it's just so simple sometimes with eagolem if you I want to say it's an outplay, right? Because I knew exactly what he was going to do. I take some damage to do more damage and get the three crown, just like that. So, Jumping into the last game here against another YouTuber, YouTube Tadix. I didn't even, I should have looked him up. I don't know. Shout out to you if you're watching this. Probably not, but anyways. Uh, we both go for the bats. I think his bats win, but that's all good. Cycle my skellies, and I think I go pump here. Yeah. I always want to get a pump down as early as possible. If I have to eat a little bit of damage, it is what it is, so. I'm not sure why he didn't go in here with the Royal Giant. Probably would have been the play if he just Royal Gianted the bridge on my left tower, but we're going to eat the Fisherman here on the left. And actually, because he arrows, I remember, I just go in here. He has no arrows, so. This was actually, this is the last game of the season for me. That's why I threw this one in. This isn't like an especially great game or anything, but this was the last game of the season, so I thought you guys would want to see my last game so I'm pretty sure yeah basically just I don't win the game here but this is such a good start because I was able to pop the ability in the middle so skelly split bat split and that's a lot of damage on both towers and I'm back to pump so at this point I knew he had royal giant I knew he was gonna go in when I pump but I also know I knew I was up elixir so that's exactly what I wanted was for him to go in here so I'm gonna defend it with the bats and we're in a phenomenal spot right here so Drop the rage on his bats, hit him with a little bit of BM because I knew exactly what he was going to do. That's <laughs> that's why I'm BM in there, it's just because, I don't know. I predicted him and yeah, last game of the season, I just I wanted to get in his head a little bit. So I think we just go for the push here, right? Surely, yeah, okay. I'm up so much elixir on him, up three with the pump down at full HP, so. There's really nothing he's going to be able to do. I could go for a pump here, but I think I just decided to go in since he's playing Cannoneer. I knew that, yeah. I knew this was going to be GG. He's forced to rage over there, so I think I pop ability here. Yeah, okay. Go for the ability just to force him to arrows or do something on the right there. But And right there, I just barely missed the rage on the bats. If I had timed that just a second later, it would have been 
GG right there. And I mean, it is still GG, but you guys will see. He's able to defend this. Um, I think if I predict the bets there, I probably just win the game right then and there. But it is what it is. It's end season, so nobody wants to give up. And I know at this point, he's going to try to take my left tower. So, of course, I'm going to try to defend it. But he arrows on the bets, and I'm pretty sure I just sacked the tower here. Yeah. So, as long as he doesn't take my right tower, I win the game, since I already have two. So, I'm going to go in, create a little bit of pressure while I defend on the right side. And, yeah. There's nothing this guy can do, so. Final game of the season is going to be a three crown. And I'm very happy with that. Anyways, here's my finish. I got number 1,200 something, so that is my best season by far. Uh, I think my best one before that was number 1,900, but I am slightly disappointed because I'm telling you guys, I'm 100% confident I could have gotten that top 1K if I just played a little bit more. I did say I played five hours today, which is crazy, so I'm not going to blame myself or I'm not going to take away from it. It was still a great season, and I know if I played better, I could have gotten the 1K within that five hours, but... All I'm saying is I was playing really, really good today. And if I had played maybe even another 30 minutes, I know for a fact I would have had it. But all that means is I'm extra confident going into next season that next season is my season and I'm going to get that top 1K. It really is just a matter of time. I wanted to give a quick shout out to all the guys that made it to Ultimate Champion this season. And also just a shout out to the whole clan because you guys have made this season awesome. The clan keeps on growing. We only need about 10 members, I think, before the clan is full. And there's some really cool people that have come in there that I've gotten to talk to and meet. And it's always really fun 1v1ing you guys in there. So shout out to y'all for being so cool. And shout out to any of you guys that were watching some of my games live today. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you for giving me so much of your time. That top 1k finish is inevitable at this point. It really is just a matter of time. I'm going to do my best to make y'all proud next season. But anyways, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for the continuous support, and I will see you guys in the next one.